Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint Necromunda bases. Now it's a quick and easy method that only takes about seven colours, so it's dead easy to do, dead simple to follow. So the first colour we're going to use is Citadel Lead Belcher. Now I've just given this a quick undercoat with Vallejo Black, but any black will do. If you notice it's a bit streaky then it is because it's brush undercoated rather than sprayed. We're just going to give this a, an all over coat of Citadel Lead Belcher, get that a nice smooth finish. And move on to the next layer. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Abelan Sunset, which I've failed to show at the start of this part. But you will see it a little bit later, later on when we do another little sponging of Abelan Sunset onto this part. So with most yellows, they're a little bit streaky when you paint them on. If you just give it a nice smooth coat, so you might have to do two layers or if it's especially thin, you might have to do three layers. But as long as you get a nice smooth coat of the yellow on there, that should be fine. I'm just going to paint it up to look nice and then batter it up again. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo black, or whichever black you're using, and we're just going to do some stripes. Now remember when you're doing straight lines and you're painting them, you always want to be painting the line vertically. So dragging the tip of the brush downwards because you can get a far better straight line than if you're trying to do it at an angle or side to side. If you're trying to do it side to side with the brush held vertically, the brush will split and give you quite a wide spread out line. But if you're doing it vertically, it keeps it point and you'll be able to get a nice straight line. Now the lines aren't perfectly straight, but it is a very quick and easy method, as I said, and that was just a one straight line down to get them like that. Next up, we're going to use some Citadel Avalan Sunset and a small piece of the packing sponge that you'll get in the old blister packs, like so. You want to get a little bit of Avalan Sunset on the tip of that. And you just want to gently sponge that onto the black lines to make it look like the black paint is chipped. If you're doing this on stairs, then you can work out roughly where people's feet would be going and aim to get the chips in those areas where it'd wear out quicker. But once you've got those sponged on, you can move on to the next layer. Next up, it's going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia, and you're just going to use this to do all of the yellow. Now this doesn't stop it being yellow, it just dirties it up and makes it look a bit more grubby, like it's been there quite a while and picked up a lot of dirt. Now we're going to use Citadel Null Oil, and you're going to use this on all of the lead belcher. Now you can notice in the gaps on the grid there, I painted the inside of that black because they did have smudges of silver on, so when you're using some black or you want to do it, just cover them back in again, make sure they're nice and black inside. Now that's dry, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Agrax Earthshade, and all we're going to do with this is run it around all of the little creases and the grooves and the corners and angles. So on each end of these sections, then down the long grooves, around all the edges of the silver work, like so. And the reason you're doing this is because these are the areas that are less likely to be caught by someone's foot or get scuffed or scraped, and so the grime and dirt is going to build up there a lot more than anywhere else. Now that's dry, we're going to use a little bit of the Citadel Dry Paint, Necron Compound. We're basically going to dry brush this along the edges of the silver and also the yellow, as though it's been caught and scuffed as time's gone by. Now if you wanted to, once you've gone over some of these parts, you can go over with a little bit more of Grax Earthshade just to grime up some of those areas so it's not all shiny. But I quite like to leave a few little shiny edges there so it's been constant wear and tear. It's just well scuffed. Final thing we're going to do is use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. And now we're moving on to an Army Painter Wargamer character brush. And we're just going to do some really, really thin lines of little scrapes and nicks in the metalwork. And a few little bits on the yellow and black as well. 
just so something's been dragged across it maybe or something's caught it as someone's walking along that just breaks up all the silver nicely and that is the finished base as I say quick and easy Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.